visibility The milkman, the paper boy Evening TV Everywhere you look is National Columnist Day. Here we have Mrs. Barrelsman. Tell us about what you do. I currently write for the Adolphus Herald. Um, my column is called Just a Thought, so I can talk about anything. Um, I used to do a book review column for them, but then I didn't have time to read all those books. So um, I've also written for the Ada Herald, the Lima News, um, contributed to a lot of blogs, really any, I mean, I love to write, so I'll pretty much write for, you know, any publication. Tuesday, April 19th, there is a kick meeting in the library from 7.30 to 8 a.m. It's also National Education and Sharing Day. Wednesday, April 20th, there is Mass with Bishop Thomas at 9.30. It's also National Lookalike Day. So what's it like to be a twin? It sucks. Uh, it's like having another conscious person of yourself to talk to, I guess. Even though you don't like that person. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday, April 21st, there is an art show from 6 to 8 p.m. in the Science and Tech Week. It's also National High Five Day. Friday, April 22nd is National Earth Day. Get in touch with the Earth. Be one with nature. This is Colin and Joe reporting from the LCC Old Gym. Here's Jerry with your weekly weather. On Monday, it'll be a high 74, low 54 with a 30% chance of rain. Tuesday, it'll be a high 71, low 54 with a 50% chance of rain. Wednesday, it'll be a high 69, low 53 with a 60% chance of rain. On Thursday, it'll be a high 67, low 46. That's your weekly weather. I'm Jerry Nolte. I'm Hunter Lucas. And I'm Shelby Armstrong. And this week on the sports, we're getting to know our teachers and what they did in high school a little bit more. So, Ms. Shank, will you tell us a little bit about where you went to high school and what sports you played? I went to Elida. I'm sorry. Um, and I sports I played, I played anything that was available because sports was fun. Um, Interscholastically, we played basketball and we played softball. And we weren't allowed to play interscholastically back then. The OHSAA didn't recognize girls' sports. So after our games, we always had to have like um, refreshments of some kind to say it was a get together. And Elida and Bath and Shawnee and Lima Senior, all the schools, we, we did this. It was GAA, Girls Athletic Association, is what it was. So um, just to let you guys know, my senior year basketball team, we beat LCC 103 to 16. I have the yearbook to prove it. So <laughs> just to let you know. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Abby Tabler. And I'm Morgan Trader. And this is Surviving High School. This week, we're talking about the five wings that make up Lima Central Catholic High School. We're currently standing in the 100 wing. The 100 wing is home to the theology teachers in a few different offices. But most importantly, it's home to the freshman lockers. Disgusting. Despite the fact that the freshmen smell horrible. This is where the dream begins. Yes. This is where high school starts. This hallway is what creates us. Even though it's gross. Now we're in the 300 wing. The 300 wing is home to the social studies department and the math department. And most importantly, the sophomore lockers. Gross. Mm hmm I will say, though, the sophomores do smell a little bit better than the freshmen. They're getting there. Not quite there yet. Keep persevering, guys. Yeah, really. Also, this hallway is the gateway to the new gymnasium. The father, her, gymnasium. Very important. 
very nice gym we have. Now we're in the science and tech wing. Self-explanatory. Oh, sorry, we forgot to tell you like when we're ending. Two thousand years later. <sighs> wow, we made it. Now we're in the four hundred wing, also known as the barren wasteland. Oh, thank you. So the four hundred wing is home of the band and choir room, and also a few other storage units. It's also home of a lot of empty lockers. Another side fact about the four hundred wing. If you're ever feeling a little toasty during the day, you can always come down here because it's really cold. Absolutely freezing. We do not think the heat works. Not at all. Now we're in the 200 wing. The 200 wing is home of the guidance office in the Robert Segerson Center of Academic Excellence. This wing is also where the English department resides and the art room. Also, the junior lockers are in this wing. Now, the juniors do smell a little bit better than the sophomores, but they're not quite to the senior level yet. You're really getting there, so keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Seriously. So, the Robert Shagerson Center of Excellence, as previously mentioned, is in this wing. And that's where a lot of students learn a lot of information, because that's what we do best here at Lima Central Catholic High School. We learn A plus. So that's all we got on the five wings of the school. I hope you learned a lot, and I hope next time you're in our school, you'll be able to navigate it a lot easier. We hope you enjoyed our segment on the wings of our school. We'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Abby Schindler. I'm Sarah Rex. And we're here at Encore for MTV Cribs. We'll take you back to stage. Now you see the cast is arriving backstage, hanging out. This is the uh, the nice prop tent we got going on over here, with all the extra stuff, you know, whatever the cast needs. There's some scenery back here, some beautiful trees and stuff. Here's some more of the cast more members. Yeah. Um, if you come back this way, then we still have some more props, you know, just. Getting ready for the show. More set pieces, you know. Got the orchestra pit up that way. Can't take you up there, but there it is. And um, yeah, that's about all we got back here in this little space. Oh See you next week. Hi, I'm Josh Dixon. I'm Jay Cobb. I'm here with Miss Mo. Uh, Miss Mo is one of the bookstore ladies, and uh, we're just going to ask her how. What have you taught kids over the years since then? I have been here about 15 and a half years now, and I taught them how to have fun. We learned to um, share a lot of fun experiences, be it through sports or through classroom activities. And we've uh, learned most, one of the most important things that, that as a student that when you leave here is the fun memories that you got to share with your friends, with people that you see every day. And this year we had a lot of fun. Uh, uh, uh.